mini meatloaves are the perfect vehicle for stuffing. Today, we're stuffing ours with red bell pepper, mozzarella, and spinach. I'm serving them as a Halloween dinner to be a rotting corpse in a coffin. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We show you recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and entertaining tips. Now we try and make it simple for everyone, especially those of you who say that you can't cook or entertain, because we know you really can. So if you like this episode, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and watch a new episode every single week. Today is the beginning of my favorite time of year. It's autumn and Halloween is coming and coming fast and I just love it. So today's celebration, we are making stuffed mini meatloaves. Now, for me, for Halloween, when I serve them, I call them little individual meatloaf coffins because the stuffing looks like a rotting corpse inside, but it's delicious. So let's get started. First, we need the meatloaf mixture. Now you hopefully are a subscriber, or if you aren't, go back and watch it because you've seen me make meatloaf before, right? This is a little easier. I have a pound and a half or so of meatloaf mix that I bought at my local market. You can use ground beef, ground pork, ground turkey, whatever you like. This happens to be a mixture of beef, veal, and pork. This is a simple recipe. Simple flavorings. Two cloves of garlic, chopped right in. Salt and pepper. Good pinch of salt and a good pinch of pepper. Impeccably clean hands are your best kitchen tool. So let's just mix this up. Now, usually when you make meatloaf, there's more spices, there's onions and tomatoes and egg and breadcrumbs and things. This doesn't need it because we're gonna make these in little mini loaf pans. And because it's going to be stuffed, that's going to give you a lot of great flavors. Okay, how fast was that? Let me wipe my hands. Put this aside. Now, for the little coffin. Little aluminum foil mini loaf pans. Easy, right? All you do is you take some of the mixture and you're going to line this pan. Push it in and you want it to go all the way up the sides and all the way around, but you want to leave an indent for the stuffing. It doesn't have to be very thick. And it doesn't even have to be particularly, <clears throat> particularly neat either. There we go. Easy, right? Next is the stuffing. Roasted red bell peppers. I've used these before. They're delicious. Come in a jar. Already done. I just took a piece and ripped it down. It goes right in like that. Mozzarella, nice and gooey and melty. One piece, right in. Oops, there's one for the blooper roll. Frozen spinach, and all I've done is I've let it thaw and I've squeezed out as much of the water as I possibly could.
I'm just going to put some of that in, fill it up. Now we need a little more, we need a lid for our coffin. So a little more of the meatloaf mixture just to cover that up. And it's okay if you see little bits of spinach poking through, it's perfectly fine. Okay, here's our little mini meatloaf. Next is one more thing. Ketchup. It's a quick little paint job. Gonna help seal it up. And it just tastes good. You could use barbecue sauce or steak sauce, whatever you like. <clears throat> I'm using ketchup. That's what I like. Now, how fast was that? So here's one. I'm going to do a few more now. Alrighty, so I've made two little meatloaves. It's just me and Phil tonight, so it's just as easy to make two. Now, these are going to go into an oven, 325. You're going to cook them until they are internal temperature of 160. Then you're going to pull them out at 160, and carryover cooking will take them up to 165. That could be 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. So here we go. Alrighty, now, according to my timer, it's been 35 minutes. Now, my oven was being a little persnickety tonight, so uh, it took a little longer than I thought it would. That is why an instant read thermometer is your best friend, especially when you're cooking meats. So here we are. Now, these have been sitting. I took them out at 160. I took them out of the oven and let them rest for about 15 minutes. They're still nice and warm. But what did that do? That let it soak up a lot of the juices. It let the meatloaf rest and firm up. If you had tried to cut it when it was right out of the oven, not only would it have been hot and horrible and burnt your fingers, it would have crumbled apart. So it's always good to let meat rest or just about anything. Meatloaves, casseroles, and things, let them rest. So let's cut this. Now this is easy, it just comes right out. I did pour a little of the extra juice off, and that's okay. Now I'm just gonna cut the top of this little coffin right off. My nice slicing knife. Look at that, beautiful. Nice gooey cheese in there, and some pepper roasted and down in there. Now we're gonna plate this. Wipe my little hands. Now you see, I have some friends come for dinner for meatloaf. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna turn it so you can see the little rotting corpse and everything in there. More importantly, guys, let's have a taste. I'm just gonna take right from here. Get in there. Ooh, look at that. A little bit of the meat. Here we go. Mmm, wow. Mmm, that's delicious. It's moist. The pepper and cheese and the spinach just make it a full round of flavor. And that ketchup on top adds a really nice tang. As always, a little wine to wash it down. Mmm. That's delicious. <clears throat> so, here we go. The question of the day. What are you going to stuff in your meatloafs? I used red pepper, mozzarella, and spinach but you could use anything you wanted. It's limited to your imagination. So what would you do? I want to hear it. And I want pictures. So that's our stuffed mini meatloaves. And for Halloween, it's a little mini meatloaf coffin. Now, as always, guys, I will have the recipe up in the comment section on YouTube. And you can watch any episode you want. You can go back and watch all of our episodes at youtube.com 
forward slash Let's Celebrate TV. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook. We're all over Facebook now. Facebook.com forward slash Let's Celebrate TV. Take pictures of the recipes you make and contact us and contact us through Facebook and post them on our wall. We love to hear from you. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'll see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Happy Halloween.